A specimen 2, composition 2, uh, 50 50, compression test at a strain rate of 0 0.069 millimeters per second. Starting so, test. We're going to hold it like this and then we're going to put it in. No, I'm guessing that Current load is going up quickly. It is behaving non-linearly, just as we expected. You can see some failure marks, some of the glass beads coming off of this specimen. You can see how it's failing by shear. There's a crack along the side of the specimen which is growing as the force <laughs> grows. Right now we have reached a steady force of 42,000 as the maximum, so 42 kilonewtons max force to break our samples. We will continue until see a, a much greater fracture. So this material is brittle, it will fly everywhere. We haven't reached the compression or the total strain extension that we're looking for. Right now we're looking at <clears throat> point 0.2. I mean a total extension of uh, 8 millimeters at the moment. So we're looking going half the way, which is in this case uh, 17 millimeters. No frictional effects uh, were seen, no buckling. Uh, the failure mode, I believe, is just by, uh, by shear or fracture. By shear fracture. Oh. The test should be ending soon as we reach the 17 millimeters of total. Uh, or yeah, as we reach 0.5 of strain, we reach yeah 0.5 of, of total strain on this specimen. Test got ended just because uh, the total fracture of the specimen. We can see that the failure but was by shear. The crack right there. And this is end of the test.